Hey, hi everyone. This is Mukesh from LearnAutomation.com. So today we are going to discuss how to handle or how to switch frames in Selenium WebDriver. This is one of the most important topic in Selenium WebDriver. So we'll divide this lecture in this uh, following way. So agenda for today is what is frames, how to create your own frame. So you will find so many application in the market where you find uh, web, web application with so many iframes. So how to create your own frames we will discuss today. Then we'll see some of the sample application where you can uh, see these frames and iframes. Then we'll talk about how to handle this frame, different ways to switch iframes. And finally, there is a small assignment for you. So you will get a clear picture. So before showing you the actual application, uh, let's discuss what is iframe. So frame and iframe both are same. So in case if you're getting these two words, okay, don't confuse because both are same. So an iframe and line frame is a simple HTML document embedded inside another HTML. Okay, so you will find so many application um, where you will get uh, one complete page and you will find a small sub pages inside that page. So I have one sample scenario which I'm going to show you in just few minutes. And another example, I just took this from the W3 school, so it's a perfect definition. And another, de another definition like iframe uh, is just an HTML element often used to insert content from another source, like advertisement in a web page and so on. So this is a separate tag available, so you can use this iframe and just put SRC. So let me show you this first. Uh, so the sample application is this. So you can see this is the sample page which I created. Uh, just a pure HTML page. I have given the name as myframes.html. So inside this myframes.html, you can see I have three different websites. So the first website which I'm displaying is my blog. Another website which I embedded is W3School and the third website is seleniumhk.org. So how it is possible to embed three websites into one using this iframe. So if you check this, I have different iframe and now I can use this. But Selenium will not allow you to directly use this iframe. You need to switch to these frames first and then you can access these websites. So this is uh, what exactly I was talking about. So how I created this frame. So there's one separate tag available, uh, iframe. Give the SRC, like from where you want to get this site. You can change this width and height and you can give some additional attribute as well. So let me show you the page source. Uh, if I simply right click and if I save you page source, you can see I simply created one HTML and I close this HTML. And I created three iframes here. One iframe, which simply points to my blog and I have given this width height and you can change it based on your requirement. And you can see I have given one additional uh, attribute called name just for make you understand how exactly this name, ID and title works. So we'll discuss about this in just few minutes. As of now, let's focus on another frame. Another frame will contains w3schools.com with height 400, 400 and the third iframe will talks about seleniumhq.org. And forcefully, I have not given any ID and name for this frame. I have only given the title. And why I have done this, you will get to know in just few minutes. So this application contains three websites and now we have to check whether we can access these applications or not. So now Selenium provides three different ways to switch to an iframe. Okay. So the first one using name or ID, second one is using index and third one is which is most important called web element. So let's go to Eclipse. I will create a separate package. Let's say iframe demo. And quickly, I will write three lines of code. So 
So if you do not switch to these frames, you cannot access this application because the reason is by default Selenium will focus on the parent window. And what is this parent window? This is the parent window like click here for Selenium tutorial start 195. So this is your parent window. So by default Selenium will focus here. So if you need to focus here or you need to do some operation inside these frames, you have to switch to this frame first, do your operation and come back to the parent. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing. And after this tutorial, you can debate on this topic because we, do, we have only three ways to switch to any frame. And uh, I will show you some live examples where you can find these frames. So as of now, I just created one class called frame demo and I have created one method called test frames. I'm using test ng, so I going to import test ng. Now I will start my Firefox. Web driver, driver equal to new Firefox driver. So it will ask me to import this, so let's import. Now I will manage dot windows dot maximize. Now I will pass the URL where I will get frames. So this is the dummy application which I created. So you can also uh, create li like this, okay? You don't need any this page. You can also write this code from your side and save dot HTML and you will get the same page. So again, I will go back and I will pass the driver dot get. Now, let's assume I have to click on this particular search bar. Okay, just there is one search bar button. If I click on this, I will get this input box. Then I need to type something. Let's say uh, CSS. So first of all, I need to switch here to this frame. Then I have to click here, right? Now, if you check this, I have installed this Firebug in Firepath. So now if you go to this HTML and simply select this, now you can see, uh, let me explore this. So this is the anchor link. Okay. And uh, if you simply scroll up, you can see this is coming inside an iframe, right? So if I simply see, if I focus on the first iframe, it is focusing on my blog. If I put mouse over on the second iframe, it is focusing on W3 school and the third iframe is selenium hq.org. So let's try with this first. I want to switch to this frame and now selenium provides, if you have ID of that frame, you can switch using this ID. If you have name, you can switch using name as well. But let me use this ID first. Okay, so to switch to any frame, we need to write driver dot switch to dot frame, right? So now you can see I'm getting three options. The first one is in teaser. Here it is asking you the frame index. Okay, so as of now, we are not worrying about index. We have selected a string. So here, if you give ID, it will switch to that frame. Okay. And once you switch to this frame, you can access this complete w3school.com. So we already switched. Now let me click on this particular search box. Okay. So as of now, I will simply take this X path. Okay. You can write your own X path as well because here we are getting title. So let's say if you want to use this. I will use this custom X path. If you want to simply do copy paste, it's your wish. So you can see I am able to identify using this custom X path, which we created right now. So I will say driver dot find element by X path and dot click. 
and if you do this click you will get this particular search box and let's see what are the things we have so we have name here called search right this input box so I will take this now I will say driver dot find element by name and I will type CSS that's all so this is just an example to show you the main thing once you switch to this frame you can do any activity now once you are in this frame you can only perform operation on this frame now if you want to perform anything in this main page you cannot okay so if you want to switch from one frame to another frame or one frame to the parent page you have to come back to the parent page first to do this we need to type driver dot switch to default content so this particular state means line number 23 will simply switch to the parent window okay so let me run this code so this is first way here I have taken ID you can also take name because ID and name both will be behaving in the same way so let's run this code and see how it works and once I will switch to the default content I want to click on this link so I will inspect this link and once I click on this link it will navigate to my blog that learn automation.com so let's do this um, I will say driver dot find element by xpath dot click so it's a small script maximize open my application switch to the second frame click on this type CSS come to the parent window and click on this so this particular line is important so let's run this code and see how it works so currently I'm using selenium version is 2.48 the latest one is 2.52 so in case if you want to upgrade your selenium jars you can update so uh, interview questions comes in a different way uh, so this is one of the interview question as well like how to identify frames and how to switch so in the next example I will show you how to count the number of frames in your application so let's wait for this so once all frames will be loaded it will perform the next task still loading uh, my internet is slow so you see it clicked on this search box and it typed CSS now it will switch back to the parent window and click on another link so it is navigating to my blog and if you go back to your code the test has been complete and it's working as expected so the first way using ID or name so it's totally up to you okay if you want to switch to the frame using ID or name but it's optional like in your application you might get you might not get this ID and name so the reliable one is the last one second one using index but index one also is not uh, that reliable and the reason is right now you are able to see you have three iframe because you are able to see this let's say if they have added one more iframe in your application then your code will fail right because internally they can use so many frames iframe so better to use either ID or name or using web element and the question how to count number of frames so we have one more method so if you see I have one method called find elements and if you notice this find elements will return you list of web elements right so I will search using tag name right so I want to search tag called iframe so what it will do it will search all the iframe inside my application and it will return me the list of web elements 
so if I simply say dot size it will return me the count so if I store this total frames so this particular statement will find all the iframes and it will return me the size so in our case we will get count as 3 so now you can answer one another question in interviews how to find total number of frames in your application so this particular statement will give you the answer total frames in application is total frame so let's run this test then we will see the last one how to switch to frame using web element I will close the previous sessions web uh, Firefox always takes time so if you want to try just try in Chrome Chrome will be faster as compared to Firefox so it's still loading you can see this still loading yeah so you can see now it has clicked on the search bar now it will type CSS and it will click on this link outer link and now if you go back to this total frames in application is 3 because now it's able to count the number of frames so hope this is uh, clear for everyone so let's try one more example so that example will focus on this so I will show you the second one I will show you the third one one assignment which I was talking is this you can switch to the first frame do some operation come back to the main page and click on this link click here for selling tutorial so as of now let's check this let's say I want to click on this project I want to click on this project tab so before click I need to switch to this frame so if I go up let's say this HTML I can see this uh, is coming inside in frame right but I can see here I do not have any ID and I do not have any name for this particular iframe but I can see I have SRC I have title and other attributes so what we can do we can find this iframe okay then after finding this iframe we can switch now question comes how to find this iframe now we have so many attributes to identify so let's say I have this title right so if you have referred my previous tutorials like how to write XPath you will get to know how to find this iframe but if still if you have not visited go to my previous videos and check how to write dynamic XPath in Selenium web driver so let's search an iframe uh, so again I will use double slash iframe at the rate title so you can see I'm able to find this frame right so let me create a fresh class so it will not confuse you so just copy and paste and I will say copy of fresh demo new so everything will be same this one yeah so now before switching let's find out that particular frame so we will write web element uh, I will say my frame and I will search using XPath so we have written one XPath right uh, XPath was just go back this so this particular statement will find your iframe 
and it is asking me to import this so let's import now if you want to switch using this web element and this is one of the most reliable one so again say driver dot switch to dot frame and you can see third one is asking for the web element so just copy this my frame now this particular statement line number 29 will switch to this third frame now you can do any activity on this particular frame so as of now I simply want to click on this project tab so I will say driver dot find element by x path dot click and I don't want anything else so if I click on this uh, project so selenium projects will load as of now it's yeah it's loaded but not completely so once it will load it will show you the complete projects yeah so these are the projects delivered uh, delivered by selenium yeah like this selenium rc id and so on so let's run this code and i will simply remove this after clicking on this my project let's wait for five seconds so as of now I will give thread dot sleep of five seconds so this will hold my test execution for five seconds then I will switch to the default content and as previous example I will switch to the uh, main page and I will click on a link so let's run this last example and I have an interesting fact after this video so let's see this execution so I have an Skype extension so by default it loads this Skype extension So it's still loading. Now you can see it has switched, it has started and it switched to this project and it is loading, right? And after five seconds, it clicked on that link, so it is moving to the home page. So now if you go back, test has been completed, right? So we have three ways two I already have uh, showed uh, showed you so one you can try from your end and uh, one more thing like if you need to find out uh, do we have this element inside frame so just focus here as of now if I simply inspect this link in the left hand side you can see I'm getting top window right top window means this is not inside a frame this is on the parent window but if I inspect the same element, let's say I want to inspect this learn HTML. You can see I'm getting one iframe, then this hash symbol W3C. It means this is inside an iframe, right? Where this particular link resides. In the same way, if you go to this one also, you will get an iframe and this as well. So in Firefox, you will get this fun uh, like, uh, um, you can see one more additional functionality you can detect easily but in Chrome you need to check manually now one more thing here so if you check here we do not have page label scroll but now we having three inside scroller like this is one scroll this is one scroll and this is one scroll right so how to scroll inside a frame that is my next topic so in the next video we'll see how to scroll for a particular view let's say if I want to click on this selenium RC selenium remote control so without a scroll if I want to click selenium will throw an exception and say element not visible right 
So first of all, we need to scroll till that element, then do operation. So that is the next topic, how to scroll into a particular view. Because page level scroll is quite easy, but element level scroll is a little bit tough. We need to see using JavaScript executor. So that we'll discuss in the next video. So the first assignment you can try with this iframe and another assignment is you can see this application right service now I will share this URL with you. So if you need to enter username and password using selenium you cannot because this particular area is inside an iframe. So if you need to check right click on element and say inspect. So you can see I'm getting ID easily username, but if you simply scroll up, you will see this particular login window is coming inside an iframe where ID equal to this, title equal to this and name equal to this. So first you need to switch to this iframe, then only you can type username and password and click on login. As of now, if you do not switch, then you cannot do any operation, right? So try to switch to this frame and Log apply the logic which we already discussed right now. So I will share this URL in the description of the video and try to create your own uh, iframe and trust me you cannot uh, go beyond this and you can debate on this topic. So that's all I have for this video. So let's check whether we have covered everything or not. We discussed what is frame, how to create your own frames sample applications, different way of switching frames and finally assignment. So that's, I, uh, that's all I have for this video. So in case if you have any doubt, just drop me an email. And uh, if you need the complete code, you can get the code from my blog that is learn-automation.com. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Bye-bye.